everyone, and welcome. Do you need a little bit of help when it comes to thinking straight? Is your forgetfulness starting to scare you a little bit? Or maybe it's just you're a little bit on the scattered side when you get stressed out. Well, whatever it may be, today we're going to do a guided visualization to help you declutter your mind. Yes, I said declutter your mind. It's going to be a little fanciful, but I think you might find it of value. My name is Carol DeShane, your intuitive spiritual guide for practical matters and certified Marconics Energy recalibration practitioner. So here we go. Please get relaxed and sit somewhere where you can close your eyes and give us your full attention. Close your eyes and start breathing deeper. lower and allow yourself to be filled with a sense of peace. Allow your mind, which may be running in circles, to start slowing down a little so you can feel like you have more control and more clarity. You're going to start with five and go down to one so that you can get more centered and more focused on what is in your mind. Four, breathing deeper and focusing inward. Three, allowing your mind and the things from the day to start calming, to start quieting. Two, to release what's happening Whatever is on your mind, it completely goes away for now to be taken out later if you need to. Relaxing completely with the tensions of the day just dissolving. And one, focused on the internal workings of your mind with the rest of your body absolutely calm and still. If you see your mind, as a library with bookshelves all around you in a circle, you'll see that it's tightly packed and overflowing with stacks. Things that you've learned that you don't need anymore as well as things you use all the time. All that information is in your mind. And if you look closely, you'll see underneath a lot of those stacks, a conveyor belt that leads from there to a hole in the wall where you can release that information and that knowledge and the clutter that you may not need. It'll go down the chute and off to another world, wherever it may be needed. And you can retrieve it if necessary, but you don't need it in these giant volumes on your shelf and on the floor. So if you look down, first you'll see a giant set of books that is maybe 20 books all stacked up, volume one through 20. And you'll look at it and you'll see that it's something that you're surprised is even there. And it's unnecessary for you because it's volume one through 20 of how to be the worst person that you can be. Things you picked up from children, from the bully, the the things you've seen that you're going, whoa, look at this horrible way that I could be. I could be nasty. I could be angry. I could be a bad driver and cut people off. Look at all those ways that I can learn how to be bad. But I don't really need these, do I? So start pushing things off the conveyor belt and start putting those volumes on one through 20. But first, you better push the button if you want it to start moving. So go ahead and release the lever or the pulley, whatever it looks like in your mind. Start putting those 20 volumes on there. And as you finish the 20 volumes, you'll see at the very bottom, there's a slender book that says how to be the best person that I can be. And you'll look at it and realize all it is is love myself and love everyone around. Use love. It's a good reminder. And you think, wow, this is all I have to do? 
and it's true. So you're going to keep that book. And as soon as you start clearing off space on your bookshelves, you'll start putting that there. But every time you put a book on the conveyor, your mind gets a little clearer, a little less cluttered and stressed out. Perhaps the next set of volumes you see on the ground are things that are all about, I mean, look at your life. What have you already learned? Perhaps it's a volume set of five of how to raise children. And you're already complete with raising children, so you don't need it. So you can put those on the conveyor belt. And perhaps at the bottom of that stack, you also find a summary, the cliff notes, so to speak. And all it says is, again, give them love, give them structure, help them to grow. And it's just a few pages along those versions, but you might want to keep that little tiny version after you get rid of all the rest of those on the floor. And perhaps there is a few volumes here and there that you look at and you realize that these are things I learned from children along the way. Maybe you have a whole volume on how to pick your nose, or you have one on how to bully other people, or maybe you have one on how to cheat at grades because you learned how to do that, how to drink yourself under the table, all those things you learn as you grow up, the things you don't really care about, and they're old and useless, but they're taking up all this space in your mind. And as you pick up each volume, and you put it on the conveyor belt, and it takes them and dumps them out into the hole so that they fall down the chute. You're feeling lighter and brighter, and your mind gets more and more focused. And as you start clearing the floor of the debris and putting a few thin volumes to the side to keep, you'll feel yourself getting lighter. The room even gets a lighter, brighter color as you go along. And as you get to the shelves, look at those. There'll be one that says, How to Hate Myself, Volume 1 through 50, with a subtitle of How to Make Myself Feel Bad. If you're turning over a new leaf, you don't need those books. You can let those volumes go. So you might want to take all of those and put them on the conveyor belt, one by one. And how many volumes of those have you used over the years? Perhaps at the end of that one, you'll find another thin volume that says, how to love myself, how to take care of me. And as you go through, you'll see more and more volumes of things that don't, you don't need at all. And other ones where as you get the shelves cleared, you start adding the ones you want to keep there. And if you have trouble decluttering in real life, you'll find that this is so simple because it's so obvious what you're still using and what you're not. Knowing that you can get the knowledge back if you need, it's really only a Google away now, but can you continue with the book? Just know that you have the possibility and the capability of learning again, but that you don't need all of these negative and voluminous books in your mind in order to keep yourself working forward and moving forward. And every time you release one of those books, see yourself getting clearer, see your mind and your memory getting sharper so that you can be clear as a bell and fully present in today's moment, not yesterday and not 20 years ago, but right where you are now. So that when you go to do something, you know where things are. When you take the keys out from the house door, you put them in the same place and you never forget where they are. You don't get busy and toss them in the refrigerator or, or in your bedroom or on the bed or on the kitchen counter. You put them right where you want to do it because you're clear. And the more of those books that you see and you acknowledge and you put on the conveyor belt, the less and less stuff and stress will be in your mind. You'll be able to handle more. You'll feel clearer. 
So keep looking at those books for a little bit longer. Look at one whole set of shelves and get rid of what you can. You might want to look at what your parents taught you. Maybe learning your ABCs that you go, you know, I know how to those now. I know how to write cursive. Well, maybe I'll keep a skinny volume on, on reading just in case I ever forget, but I don't really need that. I've already done that. If you find a book on math and it's got about four inches of dust on it because you never use it, you don't need to keep it. You can let that go too. Knowing that you can look it up on Mr. Google again if later you want to learn. Or if you truly need this volume and you need perhaps an inch thick volume versus five books because you don't really need calculus or anything else you may have stacked up in your, your mind, those things you can let go. And by dusting off the dust, so to speak, you can put that book on the shelf that you haven't looked at in forever because you've unearthed it and you've found it and you can focus on it again when you need to. So I highly recommend that every time you put a book down on that conveyor belt and watch it go down the chute, that you know that you're clearer, you remember everything you need to remember, and that you are everyone and everything you need to be. No one can tell you anything to the contrary. Don't let them talk you down or tell you that you're having a problem. Simply release those things that aren't working, that you don't need, and feel like your brain is clearer, more alert, more in the here and now. And your memory is getting better instead of worse. Listen to this as often as you need to. Allowing yourself to release what doesn't work for you. Including maybe there's a book that says Stress 101. How to be stressful. And maybe there's 20, 30, 40 volumes on that. That you've managed to keep. Or maybe it's I can't fill in the blank. Maybe that's what that book says. I can't run. I can't be creative. I'm not creative. Maybe those books that you've been holding on to, you don't need anymore. So keep going back into different sections of your mind and keep letting some of those old tapes and books go. Knowing that each time you do, you will get clearer and more and more You'll be who you want to be. And now, you can let this go for now and come back into the here and now. One, looking around your, your brain, the inside of your room, your control center, realizing that you've made a really big dent, that things are looking much more clutter-free. Two, coming back towards your present reality, turning off the conveyor belt for now, taking a breath and knowing you can come back here anytime you want so that your mind can be clearer and clearer. And three, feeling that clarity coming into focus for you, coming back towards your reality, leaving your center of your mind behind for now. Allowing it to be clear, with memory working perfectly. And four, becoming more aware around you and ready to come back into the current reality that you're in. And five, alert, awake, and back here with me. Thank you for listening today. I hope that you found a little bit of declutter in your mind that you're able to feel like you have some clarity, a little bit of more focus that you've had, and your memory is working just a little bit better. The more you do this, and the more self-confidence you have that you can do this, the better that it will be for you. Thank you for joining me. If you'd like to know more about me, by all means, click on the subscribe button first, and then subscribe to the YouTube channel, 
and also the bell notification so you know the next time that I put out a guided visualization or a joy corner moment. And you can also look at my website, connectedjoy.com, where you'll find out more about Arconics multidimensional no touch and recalibration work, energy space clearing for your home or business, and VIP day, change your money karma, and true you packages, and other things as well. Thank you so much. Until next time, blessings.